different well, states have different you've approaches. You've been pushing but, for this. You've been very consistent with that. But Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, the Georgia Republican at a rally in Michigan, said this uh, past weekend. Mr. Buttigieg is trying to emasculate the way we drive by, as she goes on to explain, by supporting environmentally friendly transportation. I, I literally don't even understand what that means. I mean, my sense of manhood is not connected to whether my vehicle is fueled by gasoline or whether it's fueled by electricity. Now this is a perfect response from Pete Buttigieg. And I'll tell you why. Because it not only calls to attention the vile acts of Marjorie Taylor Greene. More American than the roar of a V8 engine under the hood of a Ford Mustang or Chevy Camaro. An incredible feel of all that horsepower. But Democrats like Pete Buttigieg want to emasculate the way we drive. Are you offended, by, are you offended sure. by that, sir? Because even people who, you know, share her politics didn't share that view. Yeah, it was a strange thing to say. Uh, you know, to, to be honest, there are other members of Congress that I pay more attention to. Damn! But it highlights the often overlooked truth that when you strip away the hollow straw man, what else do Republicans have? It's pathetic. Yeah, it was a strange thing to say, uh, you know, to, to be honest, there are other members of Congress that I pay more attention to uh, when I'm thinking about uh, opinions that, that, that uh, really matter or ideas that are going to be critical to engage with. I, I do think we need to zoom out a little bit, and I know people want to make this ideological, they want to make it political. We're talking about something like electric vehicles, we're talking again about a very practical matter, which is how we get from point A to point B. And if industry in the world are uh, moving in a direction that adept, uh, adopts a new technology, you know, the real question is, are we gonna let China lead that or are we gonna lead it here in the United States of America? And I love how meticulous Pete Buttigieg is. Because it's so easy to get angry, but what Buttigieg does is he takes that anger and then he pokes holes in what is fundamentally flawed about the Republican party, outrage over option. But Democrats like Pete Buttigieg want to emasculate the way we drive <laughs> and force all of you to rely on electric vehicles. I do think we need to zoom out a little bit and I know people want to make this ideological, they want to make it political. We're talking about something like electric vehicles, we're talking again about a very practical matter, which is how we get from point A to point B. And if industry in the world are uh, moving in a direction that adept, uh, adopts a new technology, you know, the real question is, are we gonna let China lead that or are we gonna lead it here in the United States of America? That's why we need more scalpels like Pete, picking apart the straw man across the aisle. But these are the kinds of stunts you see from people who don't have a solution. Like, Where have these leaked? Governor DeSantis was in Congress. Where was he when they were debating immigration reform? What, what have any of these people done to be part of the solution? So, you know, I get if you're after attention. It's one thing to call attention to a problem. When you have a course of action, as, as some of the folks here speaking up about an issue, exercising their First Amendment rights have done or in, in elected office. It's another to just call attention to a problem because the problem is actually more useful to you than the solution and that helps you call attention to yourself. And that's what's going on. And the problem, of course, is it's one thing if that was just people being obnoxious, but human beings are being impacted by that. You flee a communist regime in Venezuela, you come here and then somebody tricks you Somebody using Florida taxpayer money for some reason tricks you into going from Texas to Massachusetts. It's, it's, it's not just ineffectual. It is hurting people in order to get attention. This November is Rovember. Midas Touch just released its brand new collection of Rovember t-shirts and pins to let the country know what's at stake this upcoming midterm election. Go to store.midastouch.com to grab yours. That's store.midastouch.com.